I got to start with myself, okay? Uh, because, in one sense, I I think he made a profound effect on history. Uh, but again, history will be the judge of that. But I I do know he had a profound effect on me. And as I talked about the very first encounter to the very last encounter, and I was there at his at his deathbed, and and visited next to him just maybe three hours before he died. And uh, I'll never forget either both encounters. The first one, I've never seen somebody speak like that, act that way, and, and, and uh, being so authentic. And so I guess that the, the, the legacy is not so much, which was incredibly profound, capacity to think, to build, to analyze, to communicate. He was an incredible communicator. And all of that, which I think is incredibly gifted, is not anything like what he demonstrated as being alive. Here's a person who embraced life like no one else I'd ever seen before or since and lived it with a kind of freedom that I talked about. And <laughs> he didn't give a damn about what you thought about him, about what his kids thought about him, nothing. All he cared about was, am I being in a relationship to the mystery of life? And is that authentic? If it's authentic, that's the only question I finally have to live. Is my life authentic? And it always wasn't. But by God, that question never left the table, wherever he was. So anytime you encountered Joe, uh, Joe not only was he alive in ways that other people don't seem to be alive, but that very aliveness audited your life. Jo Joe never judged anybody that I know of. So much that because he was alive, you had a question, are you alive? So just being in his presence, there was an audit. <laughs> what do you, you know, here's a man who knows what he's doing with his life, and he knows where he's going, and he's, you see, he used to talk about it. You stand next to your grave, and you live with your eye, understanding of when you're going you're gonna to topple in. You live, as he said, as a dead man. And once you've already decided you're dead, there isn't anything that can threaten you. And history has always been filled with, and changed by dead men. Dead men walking. Uh, people have already decided that what their life was about. So that, that for me, was the fundamental and the, the, the lasting legacy. Like him, dislike him, and, and boy, he's got, a, you know, he's got fans on both sides. I think almost everyone would agree that he lived his own life and was unique. And he wasn't living it to show off or to be somebody. And the very fact that Joe insisted that when he died, there would be no memory marking where his existence is. He said, I came in without a name, and I'm going to go out without a name. And so if you tried to find his ashes, which he was cremated, he was, of course, are spread around, but in the place where he's, quote, buried, the urn, there's nothing but a cross. No name, no nothing, just a cross. For me, that's, that what, that's what it means to render up your existence. And Joe did that.